Hello there, welcome to the Air Gun Gear Show. In November last year, I spent some time in Phoenix, Arizona, and I got to go to the Scottsdale Gun Club, and I was able to get up close and personal with all sorts of firearms that I enjoyed immensely. Then in February this year, I was asked by Sports Marketing here in the UK to try out the Swiss Arms P1911 CO2 pistol. And from the moment I took it out of the box, the hairs on the back of my neck stood up because it's like nothing I've ever felt in a CO2 handgun before. The full metal construction is amazing and the likeness and realisticness of this CO2 pistol took me straight back to November last year. Yes, the Swiss Arms P1911 isn't gonna chuck out 45 caliber bullets. It's a feel-good CO2 pistol. And weighing in at just under two pounds, it's very heavy as well. And that all metal construction, it's a beauty. Am I gushing over this pistol? Yes, yes I am. And it does come with an exceptional blowback action. When I first fired it, it made me jump in the air. I thought the pistol had actually exploded. It's such a punch back into your hand. I find myself watching the gun when I pull the all metal trigger rather than the target I'm shooting at. The P1911 promotes the heritage of the old US Army standard issue Colt 45. The functions are on the left hand side of the pistol, such as the safety, the magazine release, and the slide release. This is a semi-auto pistol, but this is a refined semi-auto due to the weight and blowback system. Trying to imitate a machine gun is not going to work. It's a refined semi-auto. Take your time and enjoy. Loading the CO2 is easy, with the cartridge being placed in the specially designed magazine and locked in place using an Allen key. To load the BBs in the magazine, you slide this spring down here and drop the BBs in this hole here. As with all CO2 pistols, there's not a great deal of room to get your BBs in there. So I would suggest always loading over a box, because that means if you drop any, you can always use them again. There you go, simple as that. I think I only missed two that time. Next, we need to see how accurate the P1911 is. I've got a target out at 10 meters. Here we go. There you go. At 10 meters, I'm getting a consistent grouping straight up and down the middle of the target. But CO2 pistols really come into their own with a bit of tin can action. And with the help of some speeded up footage, you can see me changing from targets to tins. So that's all damn good fun, but there's something else I want to explore. On the front of the box, it says 
power range 70 yards or 64 meters. Really? To test this out, from my comfy garden chair, I've put a target out 70 yards away. How do I know it's 70 yards away? Because I've measured it with my tape measure and I've walked up and down and up and down and up and down, setting this out. The table you can see is to protect my small compact camera, which is going to point a close up at the target. Now, honestly, it's a windy day and I'm shooting at 70 yards with a BB gun. And I don't want this clip to end up on You've Been Framed. And a quick scan of the hedgerow confirms that we've got no second shooter in the grassy knoll. So I've got fresh CO2 and a full magazine. Let's see how I get on. I got a hit. Now I need to work on that area for windage and range. I've actually fired three magazines worth downrange in a good crosswind going left to right. And I've still got multiple hits on the target paper. And if I'm honest, after about 50 yards, can't even see the BB anymore. So a lot of it's just guesswork, but I still have those hits. And the even more impressive thing is, this is not normal target paper. This is archery paper. So it's actually a lot thicker than your standard targets. And when those BBs are arriving, they're still punching straight through. That's incredible. It does exactly what it says it can do on the box. The Swiss Arms P1911. It looks good. It feels damn good. And it's a fantastic bit of kit. <laughs>